Welcome to this video series. We're going to talk about ChatLayer and today I want to show you all the ins and outs of the platform and show you what chatbots are and the best possible way to build them. Let's get right to it. So in front of us, we have a typical chatbot conversation. And the first thing that you will see here is an introduction message by the bot where the bot introduces him or herself and talks a little bit about um, what it can do, what it does best, and, and how this bot can help you. What is very important to remember is that this message is not automatically created by a bot or some AI. No, it is written by a copywriter or, as they're known in the chatbot world, a conversation designer. Um, so this is the first message. Very important to get this really right. So spend a lot of time thinking about, okay, how can I best let my bot introduce himself so that people know what to go to the bot for. Um, so let's take a look at the next message. So this is a bot that was built for a music festival. Um, and the customer asks the bot, when do the gates open? So this is a question by the customer and the bot needs to answer that question. Um, in this case, it's a, it's a question that is of the type FAQ. You know, many, many people ask this same question and the the answer is always the same. It doesn't matter who asks it, the answer is always the same. So this is an FAQ question. And we call this type of question, um, like for example, in this case, the opening time is the type of question that, that the customer is asking here. We call it an intent. So an intent is something that the customer wants to achieve or wants to know about or wants to learn more about um, with regards to your business. Um, and in this case, um, the, the intent is opening time and the expression, which is the way that the customer actually says this, is um, when do the gates open? So think of an expression as just one of the different ways of formulating an intent. So for instance, when do the gates open is one, but you could also say, when can I get in? When do the gates unlock? You know, many different things, many different expressions which all mean the same thing. They all want to have the same response. So they all belong to the same intent. The bot recognizes that the customer actually asks for this intent opening time and gives a response based on that question. In this case, the gates are unlocked at that time. Um, the, the answer is the same for everyone. That's great. Customer is helped here. That's already pretty good. The next thing the customer asks here is at what time is Fleetbot Chat playing. So Fleetbot Chat is a fictional band um, and this is a new intent. It doesn't have anything to do with the previous intent opening time, but it's a completely new intent that really talks about, okay, when does this specific artist play? So again, you know, you could, you could think of different expressions for this intent um, concert timing, let's call it. Um, so for example, uh, when can I get to see Fleetbot Chat? You know, different ways of asking the same question, different expressions for the same intent. What is also very important to remember is that in this case, the artist is Fleetbot Chat, but it could be any artist. Like it could be, let's say Metallica or, you know, Jimi Hendrix or whoever that could be playing. Um, but the sentence will always be the same. The only thing that will be different in a sentence is the, what is called entity. So in this case, the entity is the, the name of the artist, but it could be something else as well. For example, if you build a bot that is built to, um, you know, order train tickets. It could be, I want to take a train from Antwerp to Brussels, in which case Antwerp and Brussels are entities. But in our example, it's simple. It's the artist, which is the entity. And you could replace the entity by different artist names to get the same result. So the bot recognizes that intent and answers to the customer when exactly that artist will be playing. So what's happening in the background is the bot recognizes this intent concert timing. It recognizes the entity, Fleetbot Chat, and it looks up in a database somewhere. Okay, so when is Fleetbot Chat playing exactly? Gets that from the database um, and puts it right into the message that is sent to the customer. And that way you can use external systems to, to get data from you know, whatever system you might have, CRM, uh, stuff like that, and use it right inside of the chatbot, which is a very powerful thing to do, of course. 
You can see also in the answer from the chatbot that there are two additional buttons that are shown right underneath the message. And uh, this is really useful to kind of steer customers towards the right direction um, to make sure that you know, they, they know which type of follow-up question to ask. So the last thing the customer asks in our example here is, I lost my bag, which is not something that the bot can actually support. The bot doesn't know how to help somebody find their bag. Um, so in this case, the bot answers, hey, um, I can't help you with that, but I'm going to connect you to an expert, you know, a human agent who is an expert at finding things at BotFest or Fictional Festival. Um, and in that case, you know, the conversation is handed over to the live agent within the same conversation. So the customer has it all within one view um, and the agent can take over and help the customer find their bag. So this is an example of what is called human handover which is a very powerful tool uh, as well.